Executive actions by the Trump administration have put the focus on the constitutional rights of non-citizens. And this week, the U.S. Supreme Court agreed to hear a case with life and death implications. Back in 2010, a U.S. Border Patrol agent shot and killed a Mexican teenager. The agent was in the U.S. The boy was 60 feet away in Mexico. Now the boy's family wants to sue, saying the agent violated their son's constitutional rights. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman has been following the case closely and is here with more. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. What exactly is the question before the court here? The question is whether or not this dead boy's family has a right to sue at all in a U.S. court for wrongful death that is excessive force under the Fourth Amendment and due process rights under the Fifth Amendment. But what it really is all about is a young boy is, I'm going to give you only the worst case scenario. This doesn't mean it's the truth, it's just how the government looks at it. And the worst case scenario, a group of boys were throwing rocks. And as they were throwing rocks at this Border Patrol agent, he went and shot, and he hits this young boy in the head and kills him. The boy is on the Mexico side. The shooter, the agent, is on the U.S. side. Yeah. And so the obvious argument from the conservative point of view is, look, you have a non-citizen in another country who cannot possibly sue for constitutional rights in the United States of America. Yeah. Now, the liberal point of view is quite different. The liberal point of view is, wait a minute, if he was 60 feet closer, Obviously, he had a right to sue. And after all, the agent is on U.S. soil yep. using U.S. equipment and taking the life of a child. So, Ricky, the lawyer for the victim's family said he's seeking a narrow ruling. What does that mean and why is that significant? Well, I think this is his only way to be able to try to persuade the United States Supreme Court that they should rule in a precedent setting case. You have to understand that when this case is decided, it could make a big difference to others who may follow in various situations, whether it's a shot across the border or whether it's somebody in Nevada who's operating a drone that goes off and kills someone in some other country. So the quote-unquote narrow ruling is really wrapped around the facts of this case, that is, the Mexican government is not upset if they go forward with a suit. There was a life taken. It really was conduct which occurred in the U.S. Um, and you don't have a military situation here. The, but that's too simple. The U.S. Justice Department looked at this case and decided not to prosecute the border agent. Yes, but that's a whole different story. We have to look, Anthony, the family, it appears, doesn't have a remedy. However, in the state of Arizona, in the Ninth Circuit, here in Texas, we're in the Fifth Circuit, there is also another case pending that is very similar, where the judge started to let that case go forward. That case is on hold. So you have also a contrast between the circuits. When it comes to disciplining the agent, that would have been a different remedy, but they didn't discipline this agent. Uh -huh. So you have a family that feels that their rights have been violated, or they have no rights. They right. just absolutely have no rights. Their son's rights were violated. But he's not a citizen, and it happened in Mexico. And you also have, what are the answers here? Are there disciplinary proceedings within the service? Of course there are with Customs and Border Patrol. This agent apparently was not disciplined. Others might be in the future. But really isn't the answer to use less lethal force, to be able to use things like rubber bullets or other things, when because kids are always throwing rocks <laughs> yeah. at the border. So there are ways around this. It's not going to help this family is the problem. Our sympathies have got to go out to this family. We're human beings. But we can't forget about the fact that a border is a border. Right. We have them for a good reason. What a, what a puzzling case this is. Well, and it's going to be very important when we see if this court comes out four and four, which means the decision below yeah. stands, which means no lawsuit. All right, Ricky Kleeman, thank you very much.